Hi Stitchers! Today we're going to be working on something that's a little bit bigger than some of the projects I've been doing in the past. It's something that's been kind of on my pattern bucket list for a couple of years now and I'm really excited to get started on it. I don't know if you can see over here all of the floss that's going to be going into it. There's 139 colors. It's going to be on 22 count Ada on a 9 by 8 frame I think. I don't have it right here with me, but I'm going to go ahead and get that all set up. But this is something that I'm really excited about and I hope you guys like it as much as I think I'm going to like it. So let's just go ahead and get started.
here he is, finally, all done. He took about 72 hours of just stitch time and probably about two months because I think I started him at the beginning of January. So I've been working on him for a very long time and I'm so glad to finally be done. And I knew that he was going to take between 60 and 80 hours when I started, so 72 was right there within my estimate. What I didn't expect was for him to take about two months, but things, especially this month, kept getting in the way. And if you watch me on social media, you probably saw that I was in the hospital this week. But hopefully by the time this video goes out, that will have been a couple of weeks ago, and I should have all my stitches out and everything. But being in pain is a surprisingly effective demotivator, and I just didn't want to work on him at all for a really long time this week. So he got done a little bit later than I expected, and the frame job isn't the greatest but I wanted to get him framed so that he's kept nice and part of the reason the frame job's not that great is because I can't leave the house I've got stitches in the bottom of my foot and it's not fun but overall I'm pretty darn pleased with him there are a few mistakes up in this area that I don't think you can see very well but it's just because even though it doesn't look like it now underneath the light, everything seemed like it was the same color as the fabric and I couldn't tell what was going on and it was just a nightmare from pretty much as soon as I started to get to the background. It became a nightmare, but I'm glad he's done. He turned out still a lot better than I thought he would turn out. The video, I know there were some problems with it a little bit later on. Um, Hopefully it wasn't too distracting. I wasn't really sure what to do with that because I think OBS was recording on the wrong profile. I don't know, but it got really weird and I tried to fix it and salvage those parts as best that I could. So hopefully that doesn't happen again, but that is kind of a risk that you run with these kind of things. I'm, you know, spending 70 plus hours filming something that I can't go back to reshoot if it doesn't record properly. And there were a few instances in this where I had problems with OBS and ugh, but this is the first big one that I've filmed. So hopefully I've learned from my mistakes this time, but there we go. Uh, he's done. I've got a couple of really big projects coming up that are collaborative efforts with other YouTubers. And so look out for those. They will probably, it's the end of February now, probably won't be going up until around April or May. And I'm doing two of those, so I'm not really sure. Hopefully I don't take forever to get them done, but we'll see. But I'm really looking forward to those. But from now on, until then, I guess uh, just expect a lot of really smaller ones like what I've been doing because these ones take a long time. So the plan is from here on out to just spend about 10 or 20 hours a week doing smaller projects that I can use to fill the time until I can get the bigger ones done. Hopefully they don't take me too long. We'll see. But I'm really looking forward to those. I hope you guys are too. And... As always, if you have any questions about this project, about anything else, please put those in the comments down below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. And if you want, you can also check out my Patreon. The icon for that should be right up there. And you can go check that out. You can get some freebies. Some freebies for uh, this project will be up there. There's patterns. There's live sessions that you can hang out with me in. All sorts of cool things for patrons. So... You can check that out if you want or not. It's cool. Just, I'm glad that you're all here. And by the time this video goes out, we'll probably be nearing 100 subscribers. So I'm probably going to do a little thank you thing for that as well. I can't believe how fast this channel is growing. So thank you to everyone who's subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing that. But at this point, I guess I will see you next time. Bye.